One of the most common applications of exponential functions is in finance. Here we're going to be looking at um, when your interest is compounded a finite number of times per year, meaning it's not infinite. And that'll make more sense later when you try a couple that in fact are infinite. So first we have to look through this equation and make sure you guys are cool on what all these variable means. Um, usually they use the same letters, but not always, so just a heads up on that. They should be in the same places. On mine, A stands for amount after time, the amount of money in the account after time. Sometimes it's written like this, A parentheses of T equals blah, 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 um, to show function notation, amount where your input is time. So just, just a heads up on that. It doesn't mean amount times time. Now P, capital P, stands for your principal investment, which means initial investment. It's how much money you put in the account to begin with. R is the interest rate written as a decimal. So by the way, note, make sure if you have 5%, that's not this. That's a common student mistake. That would be 50%. 5% would be 0.05, or like 15% would be 0.15, something like that. And then N stands for the number of times the interest is compounded per year, and T is the number of years, how long you leave the money in the bank. So we're going to try some hopefully pretty straightforward problems. Find the final amount for $2,500 invested after five years at 2.3% annual interest if the interest is compounded annually, quarterly, daily, continuously. Okay, so first thing, we have to figure out what these numbers represent. Um, this 2,500 is the um, initial amount. That's how much you put in in the beginning. So that's gonna be A for all of our different problems. Then five years, that's a T amount. 2.3% annual interest, that's going to tell us that R equals 0.023, careful with your decimal. And then um, and then the other thing, these other um, parts A, B, and C are going to represent how often it's compounded. So parts A, B, and C are different changes in N. Let's go ahead and try it. Whoops, I messed up. Already. Sorry guys, I told you this 2,500 is the amount after time, but we're trying to find the amount after time. That 2,500 is the principal. That's how much you invest in the first place. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're trying to find the amount after time. That's A. Our principal amount for all of these is going to be 2,500. So they're all going to start the same. Amount after time is equal to 2,500 times something in parentheses. Amount after time is equal to 2,500 times something in parentheses. Okay, in the parentheses, we'll always start with 1 plus... And then our insurance rate, they told us, was 2.3%, so that'll be 0 0.023 over something for each one. It's all the same. And now things are going to change because in our formula, that insurance rate is on top of N. N stands for number of compoundings per year. So that's where we're going to start to diverge, and I'm going to start doing problem A only. So compounding annually, that means only once per year. N equals 1. N shows up again in my exponent, 1 times, and then we're doing 5 years. Okay, so let's clean that up a little bit. On your calculator, um, you're going to want to make sure you're doing PEMDAS, the order of operations. Some people don't call it PEMDAS, but parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, blah, blah, blah. So first thing I want to do is simplify inside the parentheses. This one here is going to be 1 plus 0 0.023, otherwise known as 1.023. Then my exponent is going to be the fifth power. So this is what I need to type into my calculator, this bit here. Um, depending on what calculator you have, you might be able to type it in from left to right. Other people, like if you, sorry, if you have a graphing calculator, like a TI grapher, you could start with just 2500 parentheses, 1.03, and then to do a fifth power, you're going to do a little arrow up, and that's the button that's above the division sign. If you don't have a TI, if you have like a scientific calculator, which is fine, you're going to have to do um, practice with your X to the Y or maybe Y to the X button to practice doing 1.023 to the fifth. Whatever that is, multiply it by 2,500. The correct answer should be $2,801.03. Let's try the next one. Same setup, except for now, since it's being compounded quarterly, that's four times per year. So n is going to be four. Again, my exponent would be four times five. Order of operation style, I'm going to clean up what's inside the parentheses first. On your calculator, start by doing 0 0.023 divided by four. Whatever that answer is, add one to it. Then that whole thing is going to be raised to the 20th exponent, using, again, either this x to the y button or your caret button, your little arrow up. If you do that one correctly, you get 
and 76 cents. By the way, notice those are super close. Let's try the next one. Surely compounding daily will give us different numbers. Um, so inside parentheses, my n value is going to be 365 because there's 365 days per year, and that's going to go in my exponent as well. If you type that one into your calculator correctly, and again, you have to practice this. It's not enough to just watch me do it and feel like, oh yeah, I could do it. You honestly have to try this because every calculator is different. Notice how close these are. We're differing by like $3. Not a big deal how often the interest is compounded. That n number has a very little effect. Last but not least, this part D says compounded continuously. If the problem you're doing says compounded continuously, you're in the wrong pen cast. Compounding continuously is when you're going to be doing um, this PERT formula where you're using the letter E. So if your problem says compounding continuously, don't be using this equation that we're working with on this first pen cast here. You're going to want to use a different equation that shows up later. Continuously is a red flag word. That means there's going to be a different formula going on.